One of the main feature of Android is customization. If you have got your Galaxy Note 3, you would have noticed that Samsung's TouchWiz interface doesn't allow you to, to do much of a customization. The grid sizes on home screen are fixed. The icon sizes are fixed and you can't apply any outside themes or do anything with that. So you have to live with their own interface. Now in this video, what we are going to see is one of the aftermarket launcher Apex Pro on Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So I've installed Apex Pro on my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and you can see that it's much more like a stock Android feeling with a lot of cool customization options which is available with this. So I'm going, I'm not going to do the review of step-by-step uh, -step settings or anything. What I'm going to see is some of the cool things which you can do with this launcher and Galaxy Note 3. One of the primary feature which I like on this launcher is when you actually go on Apex settings and you have this behavioral setting where you can actually set what you want to do with the buttons like the home button so you can select when you press home button what should happen and you have a certain actions here so you can select to default screen notification quick settings like I have selected to launch an app which is like launch Google so it's going to launch Google now for me and then down there you have the gestures where where you can select what you will do when you actually swipe up swipe down or with two finger swipes and uh, some of the other gestures now this is one of the this is what I like swipe down and I select it for show notification I will tell you why I do that but let's go to the home and see like I have selected two settings so if I press home button at this point of time you can see it's automatically taking me to my Google now and showing me everything the other thing which I did was swipe down will actually give me a notification and that's pretty handy because with this large, large screen if you are holding your device in a single hand it's always tough to go on to the notification bar and pull it down where if you have the swipe down setting you can swipe anywhere down and you can get your notifications so that's pretty handy and uh, useful for one hand uh, use of this device there are certain other good features like on home screen settings you can actually change the grid sizes you can select what how many number of columns and row you want on a grid and you can select that both on portrait and a landscape mode you can actually even uh, there are two more good settings one is a use tablet UI mode which is very handy setting because this is one of the beautiful and big screen and you can actually use tablet UI pretty handy in here the only reason why I don't use that much is uh, it actually let me show you how that works but um, so if you see that that's how your UI will look the whole dock is gone uh, you have a good nice bar here with the apps will be opening from there but the only reason is that each and every time you want to open an app you have to actually go there or the other thing which you can do is you can actually select this home button to open a app drawer if you want right now I have not set it up but you can set it up so you want you if you want this kind of a customization you can do it and you will have this full screen for you now let's go back to the setting again I will um, change it back I don't want to use the tablet mode right now the other thing which is good is you can select this uh, persistent search bar which you can say that always and what will happen is each and every time you will have this persistent search bar on top of it and this grid will be separate than this so you automatically are going to use the space much more the same kind of settings are available in the drawer where you can actually select the grids for that also you can select infinite scrolling transition effects and other stuff the good thing is there is a hidden app feature where you can actually select which app you doesn't want to show in the um, drawer and the app will be hidden you won't be seeing that there the other good effect um, on home screen setting is the transition effect which I have set it up none but you can select uh, with some pre-made settings like I will select flip right now and if I go back and now if I try to move the screen you can see 
it's a it's a nice flip effect which is coming out from this so um, you can do that there is another good thing is dock you can select number of docks and it can be up to one to five so uh, suppose I have selected three docks per dock five icons I want and um, I can select again all some of the settings and hide dock divider but when you go back now you have five of the docks here so I can actually scroll around here so you can see the scroll is like the three screens on top you have three drawers here so you can actually put 15 icons almost there so it's a, it's a lot of, lot of customization and a lot of application which can be in hand for you the other thing is folder settings you have the folder preview settings which you can actually set up how you want to show the uh, folders and some other background and other stuff all the customizations are available the next good thing which we are going to talk about is theme settings there is a lots and lots of themes available for this launcher in the market which you install and as soon as you install it will be available here and you can select what you want to use from this theme like I have selected icon pack skin and font if I want I can mix match I can select uh, skin from here and font from here icon pack from here and other stuff but you can you can get a lot of themes and customize this launcher as much as you want the pro functions which you get is uh, notification settings so if you have if you are pro using the pro version like me you actually have to go and install this apex notifier what it does is it actually gives you notification on certain apps like these kind of notification where it can phone sms calendar gmail battery and email app can actually show you a small pop-up or small uh, notification that how many unread messages are pending and that stuff so I have a pro but I haven't installed that but you, if you want if you like those kind of notification you can do that there are certain advanced setting where you can actually customize the menu this is the menu which comes out when you press the menu button on home and there are certain other settings uh, which you can set here you can also backup and restore this launcher so you can set it up once create a backup and next time onwards you can just restore that backup and all the settings will be restored as you want so it's it's pretty easy and handy launcher i have changed the grid size to 5 by 4 so you can see that there is a lot more space here even after showing this widget and a persistent search bar so this is this gives a power of utilizing the more and more space of this 5.7 inch HD screen. Hope you would like this video and uh, give a try to Apex launcher. I will be doing more reviews about other launchers on Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So you, uh, you can subscribe to Make Web World YouTube channel for more videos like this and see how you can more customize your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Thank you. <music>